Welcome to BCP 144 Web Design 1. I am John Cohn. I will be your instructor for the course. Um, I wanted to make this video to welcome you into the course as well as just show you kind of the general layout so you know how to uh, progress throughout the semester to get everything complete. You know, all that. Okay, so uh, first off, obviously, we're going to be using Canvas. Uh, that is the LMS, the learning management system that the school has uh, decided to use. Uh, so you're going to need to log into that, although you probably will see that on there because this will be an announcement put into that. Uh, so you're going to log into there, then you'll go to the class, the web design class. When you're at home, this is the screen you will see. Um, I will be using announcements uh, throughout the course. Um, anytime there's anything sort of pertinent, uh, if there's some like mistake or something put in the web, or uh, anytime I need to reach out to you as a class, this is how I will do it. Um, I generally send out one announcement a week on Monday just saying, hey, good job last week. This week we're going to do such and such. Um, just so you know that I'm alive and well. Um, so, uh, But again, if there's anything else I need to send to you guys, I also might just send out like, oh, look at this cool thing. That sort of stuff. Okay. Um, just so you're aware for all of your classes, you are required to read the uh, announcements in their entirety. It is like anything else in the course. Um, so you can't say, oh, I didn't see the announcement, blah, blah, blah. That's not uh, a valid excuse. Okay, so uh, it should also email you, I believe, uh, as well as be posted on um, Canvas. So just, you know, you should see it in both spots. Uh, if you don't, let me know. I'll see. Make sure my settings are correct. Okay, so that's that. Uh, you will find the syllabus here. Um, yay, that's that stuff. That's pretty exciting. Um, the main thing that you're going to need to know to do is to go to the modules. And then what you're going to see is that each class will have a module. And you'll see I put the date here, um, which I thought I fixed that date, but apparently I did not. It should say 826. Um, but that will say the date of the Monday that the course begins. Um, and then uh, you just want to go down the line. So there'll be a class two module and they'll go down the line, class three module, so on and so forth. The introduction, to be honest, you don't really have to, to read. It's just an overview of what we're doing that week. Um, resources, it's kind of the same thing. If there's like extra stuff that you might be helpful to you, I'll throw it in there. Um, the main things you need to do are just the bottom parts here. So you're going to see there's always going to be a lecture. And when you click on it, if you middle click, it opens up in a new tab. Uh, it's going to bring you to my website. So I use a website for my lectures. Um, this way I have a lot more control. I can make it easier for you to follow through. And um, uh, it's visually much more interesting than just, you know, the stuff inside of Canvas. Uh, so it's more highly customizable. And since it's a web class, it makes sense to use a web page. Uh, but you can see all my courses use this. Um, I only have the first one of this is the old one. So um, anyway, so all you're going to do is you're going to go through the lecture first and you're just going to go down and you're just going to follow along. Now I have a video for each, uh, basically each slide, we'll call it each section. Um, so you'll see, oh, here's another thing. And then there's a video. And here's another thing, right? And there's a video, so on and so forth. Um, some of them, if you don't want to watch the video, you might be able to get away without it, uh, particularly these things in here. Um, but you're just going to go down the line. And you're just going to see, okay, and then you listen to this, and then you can read it at the same time. Kind of like if we were in class, right? I'd be lecturing to you while you are looking at a slide that uh, I put on there, okay? Um, so, again, just go right down the line, and that's how that works. What you also will see is at the very top here, right, I have the topics. These match up here. You will notice that uh, I put this over here so you can kind of see your progression. See how they all highlight as you go down, and you can see where the next section is. And you can actually click on these to jump as well. So it has this dot navigation, which I put these custom labels in uh, as well. So hopefully that will help uh, with the organizational aspect. Okay, so you're going to go down. Usually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little bit of more theory kind of things. And then you'll see at some point we'll get to a part where uh, we're going to start working on the lab. So instead of doing uh, too much of me just explaining things, I'm going to kind of have, I'm going to explain them as we're making them uh, as we go through. Because uh, that way you're actually creating it and not just listening to me blabber on, such as you are right now. So uh, you'll go down through, and what you're going to see is most of them, the way that they work, each one of these kind of like the assignment lab here, is you're, it's going to give you kind of written instructions as well as a video and then um, any supporting images uh, that are helpful. Um, so here you can go uh, instructions on writing the HTML structure, right? So some written instructions. This video is me doing it. You can see the example of what yours uh, should look like. And then uh, any extra information and images and stuff will also be thrown in there. Okay.
okay? So again, you can see this here. Um, later on, you'll see I actually include um, what it would look like in the browser is this, while your code should look like this, okay? And you're just gonna go right down the line and you're gonna mostly kind of follow what I do in the videos and in the text here. You're gonna follow along, okay? I do want you to change it and I'll explain what I want you to do in the videos and such. Um, and then you'll get all, you know, you go all the way down. Um, and then uh, I'll, I'll tell you to submit. Now, that's the, the lecture, okay? So going back here, what you'll see is after the lecture, then there is the assignment. You're just gonna click in here and basically you'll just submit the assignment uh, into this section, all right? Uh, should be pretty straightforward. You'll notice that there is also a discussion board uh, this week, just so you get an idea of what the assignments look like. Um, the way that I have it set up is that every week is a lab assignment, right? That basically, if we were having class, the same thing I'd be doing in class with you. So each week we're going to have a lab assignment, um, except for the weeks where it's a project. So you're going to notice sort of a, um, a pattern. I'll have four labs, and then on the fifth week, which each one builds off the previous one, then on the, on the, uh, the, uh, my dog just grabbed my cord, my mouse, and I couldn't move it. Okay, so, uh, and then on the fifth week, you'll basically sort of use, uh, you'll you'll make a project based off of what we do, we had done in the previous four weeks lab. Then again, it'll be four weeks. You see, so six, seven, eight, nine, right? All responsive site, all each building off each other, and then you'll do a project on the tenth week, and then it's three for the last one, and then on the fourth week you'll do the project. All right. There are also um, some discussion boards. Um, there's the introduction one because everybody loves inter uh, introduction discussion boards. I know it's my favorite thing. Um, so there'll be that one. And then after that, every time that you do a project, you'll also post your project on the um, discussion board. The idea behind this is that if we were in class, we would all look, you would share your work with your peers and we'd all, you know, critique it and be like, oh, I like this, I don't like that, so on and so forth. Okay, so it's a way of you being able to share your work. Um, now I accept, uh, so the projects all have due dates, as you can see, I accept work late. If it is late, um, you get a letter grade reduction. I will accept the assignment all the way till the very end. Um, but, uh, you'll be a letter grade. So I, I don't take off a new letter grade every day or every week because then it becomes pointless and why would you even bother submitting it? So just make sure you try to get it on time. But if you don't, you can still submit till the end. All right. Um, now, if you do have any problems with the assignments, the best thing to do is just email me. So you can just email me. What I want you to do is email me, type up what the issue is, and then also attach the file. I can't fix your your stuff if I can't see it, right? And 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 make sure you make a, a valid description of what the issue is. Um, don't say, oh, it's not working. That doesn't tell me anything. It's, it, you can't imagine, I'm not you. So I need you to write out what it is and then give me the file as well. Normally what I'll do is I'll write out, if it's something simple, I'll just write out a, an email back and be like, oh, you just need to do this. Uh, more often than not, what I usually do is I'll just make a video, I'll fix the file, I will send you the video and I've sent you the fixed file, and then you can carry on your merry way, okay? Um, if that doesn't solve the, the issue, uh, we'll just set up a, a Teams meeting and I'll meet with you in person. We'll try to figure out what the issue is um, in case it's something more specific to your computer. You know. um, okay. So that's how that's gonna go. Uh, each week everything's due. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that would be it. Um, good luck. I look forward to seeing your guys' work. Um, and uh, have an excellent uh, semester.